Hi, my people. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my newest psychic reading on none other than Kate Middleton. We are looking into Kate Middleton. She's been a bit quiet um, uh, since that last update that she gave us about her having cancer. Unfortunately, we are still wishing her well. She kind of went into disappearing. So I want to see, you know, kind of, you know, what she's up to. Where is she? What's going on? Let's see what's going on with Kate Middleton. We're getting a 2024 update. Um, I'm Lamar Townsend. If you're new to my channel, I'm a psychic, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. I am also available for psychic tarot readings. If you would like your own personal reading, definitely check out my website. Text me at 703-791-9162. Visit my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. Um, and yes, definitely check out all those things keep in touch this is my website all right just so you have my website information just so you know what to look for all right and things of this nature So this is my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Once you've reached this page, you know you're on the right page. You can scroll down and read reviews from people who have purchased readings from me and products from me. You can also follow me down here on Instagram and Facebook. And also check out the store section of my website. This is where you would go to view all the products, services, and different types of things I offer. I do offer email readings, phone readings, video recorded readings where you send your questions. I record myself doing your reading and then I email you the video to download and keep. Um, I also do offer candles, uh, classes, including astrology classes, tarot classes, medium, uh, uh, spiritual development classes, which does include mediumship. <clears throat> um, I do also offer merch, bracelets, stickers, offer past life readings, mediumship readings, birth chart readings, compatibility birth chart readings, year ahead transit birth chart readings, and so much more. So if you'd be interested in any of these things, once again, anything spiritual, definitely check out lamartownsandtarot.com. I am available and I would love to read for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this reading on Kate Middleton. I want to see what's coming up for Kate pretty much for the year 2020 well for the rest of the year 2024 moving forward and beyond 2024 and see what's coming up for her let's go ahead and get into it thank you spirit for opening up the channel so that i can connect with the energy of kate middleton thank you for protecting my energy my thoughts my mind and my emotions in my space thank you for protecting those watching this video in the name of the mother the daughter the father the son and the holy ghost thank you for protecting any extension of myself in my space um, and thank you for bringing, most importantly, clarity and insight in the name of the mother, the daughter, the father, the son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay. Let's tap in and see what's going on, child. Before I tap in, let me text my client real quick. Let them know I'll be available tonight for their class. We're good. All right. All right, you guys. Um, Let's go ahead and get into this reading on Kate Middleton. Let's tap in and see what's going on with Kate Middleton. The first thing I'm seeing is I feel like she's wearing some sort of mask, almost like an oxygen mask. Or if you have asthma, it reminds me of like I had really bad asthma when I was a kid to the point where I had to like wear one of those albuterol masks and like use one of those albuterol machines. It kind of reminds me of that. I think the purpose of the albuterol machine was to like get air to my lungs or get enough like to open either to get air to my lungs or to both get air to my lungs, but also expand any constriction that was like in my throat or something like that because it may have been coupled by you know asthma allergies or something like that but yeah um i don't know i'm seeing something like that so it's like almost like an oxygen machine or some sort of machine some sort of breathing machine or breathing um it's like breathing machine or breathing techniques i also don't know if this is for cancer possibly the cancer she's been diagnosed with in some way shape or form because i almost feel like 
one of the things I remember with the albuterol machine is it was the particles that you breathed in. So I'm getting the energy of like that same thing with Kate where it's like something about the particles she's breathing in or the act of the machine itself that is like, I feel like expanding her lungs, expanding her chest. Oh. Oh. Is this true spirit? Oh, all right. I'm going to preface this by saying allegedly, but this is what spirit is, is telling me, both telling me and showing me there's something about long term COVID. We know that this kind of this kind of actually is a thing that long term COVID is a thing that everyone has the same effects or the same experience, but there's something about potentially, you know, where the experiences are out there of long-term COVID. And I almost get like that energy with Kate and what she's going through. Um, now, of course she has cancer, you know, or, you know, she's told us she has cancer, but there's almost something where I feel like there's exacerbated effects or there's exaggerated effects due to like long-term COVID. And the reason why I get that is I get like, eh, almost like it makes me, um, Maybe it's because I have asthma and I know like what the tightness of the chest and like the chest like needing to heal is like, but I get like, like inflammation in the chest, inflammation in the lungs, like needing to heal that area for Kate. Like, I just want to like kind of rub this part of my body, literally. Like, you know, so I don't know if she's rubbing, rubbing some sort of salve into her body or if it's just kind of like one of those healing, soothing things. Do you guys ever do that where it's like, I find that I do this in particular when I'm going through something very painful, you know, like emotionally painful, like I've got it or like if I'm like exactly what's happening right now, if I'm feeling someone else's emotions or like that's when I find myself doing this kind of thing. So it's a self-soothing kind of mechanism. So I'm wondering also, is there something about a self-soothing mechanism that she's kind of experiencing with that energy? I hear white as a ghost. Like I get the energy where she looks white as a ghost, very pale. I'm not sure if this is because she's not getting like a lot of sun, for example, or if it's just a symptom of what she's going through. I get like a lot of sweat and clamminess. Like, I don't think it's just, you know, once again, allegedly I'll say, I don't think it's just cancer. I see interactions with her kids, but interaction with her kids in the state that she's in. It's almost like they're letting the kids see her or be okay with seeing her in this state. But it's almost like there's something about William and his energy that's very, like, cold, dismissive towards Kate and her situation and what she's going through. It's almost like, you know that person that you're irritated by, but you have to tolerate them or deal with them because you're spending the entire day with them. You know, so, you know, and like you try to, you have to keep up appearances. So you try not to roll your eyes, you know, when you hear them talk, you know, but it's like th their annoyance is so aggravating to you that like, something comes out so it's like they talk and it's like you may not roll your eyes but it's like you know that kind of thing it's like that's the energy i get towards from prince william towards kate middleton and it's almost like god man like couldn't you be a bit more humble a bit more um, understanding of you know your wife's plight but there's almost like something from uh prince william's energy towards kate where it's 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 in a way like he feels like she's playing it up or something like that or playing into it like i wouldn't be surprised if she said this to him you know what it feels like this is so weird 
Oh my gosh, Kate, what is going on? This feels like literally Prince Charles and Princess Diana, like 2.0. The father, the, the, the child repeating the sins of the father. I think there's something about Prince William where he's kind of, the energy that comes across towards, with, from him towards Kate is like he's fed up with Kate. He's over it. He's like kind of done. He's ready to move on, but it's like he's kind of stuck in this role, obviously, that he's in, right? I hear something about the month of October, like around that time frame, October, November, December. There's something where Prince William is gonna kind of being pushed into the forefront in preparation to become king is what I hear. And it's like he's frustrated and he's acting this way energetically towards Kate because of the pressure he feels being in that position. You know, where it's like, it's like he kind of doesn't want it, but he has to deal with it anyway. And it's like, and you, you know, you're over here, you know, sickly disabled and, you know, kind of like, you know, can't you get better? You know, you're getting, you know, the best treatment in the world. Like, you know, can't you muster up some energy to do this and that? Like, if that's how I see his energy kind of like being this way towards her. I don't know if he's literally saying these things, but it's like, that's the energy I get where it's like, it's like, once again, God, man, can't you be a little bit more understanding? Like, I understand your situation, but can't you understand her situation? Like, it's almost like he'd rather her. Not recover, allegedly. It's like the energy where it's like he'd be, he feels like he'd be better off. The more I tap into this energy and like lately with the Royals, the more I understand Prince Harry leaving. I do see her getting well enough to make an appearance. Like I kind of, like I, I see her getting her makeup on. She has a pretty, very pretty, almost like sparkly dress on. She's kind of still clammy. Like there's something about the skin where it's like her energy where she's like not 100%, but maybe like 75, maybe 85, you know, something around, you know, around that kind of like, you know, that, that range, you know, but it's like, Needing to make appearances, needing to keep up with appearances. The people want to see me. I want to see the people. I want the people to see me. All right. And I keep hearing like the month of October or something about the month of October. Or the number six, something about the number six, six days, six weeks, the sixth, six months, six months from now would be what we're in May. May, that would be November month. I mean, you know, doing the math right off the bat, which would be a month away from October. It's like they want her to make sure she's almost recovered, about 75, 85% recovered. You know what I'm saying? Before she starts making appearances. That's kind of what I'm seeing, which ties into the questions I want to start asking the cards. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say about Kate Middleton. All right. Got my Starbucks Amer Americano here. Let's go ahead and see what's coming up for um, Kate. By the way, once again, if you all want a personal reading, I am available. I'm available um, for phone readings, email readings, even if it's late at night, text me. I will be available once again, 703-791-9162. Um, you can also visit my website, lamartownsontero.com. 
Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of his destiny past reading in the name of the mother, the daughter, the father, the son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name I pray and I thank you. Thank you for protecting me, Jesus. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for surrounding me with your protection, God. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, child, what's coming up for Kate Middleton? Will we see Kate Middleton anytime soon? Will Kate Middleton make a physical appearance? A clear physical appearance where it cannot be disputed whether or not it's AI. Will Kate Middleton make another physical appearance? Clear physical appearance where we will know it's Kate. And one spirit, give us some clarity on that. Once again, if you all want a personal reading, I'm available. My books are clear right now, actually, which is a rare occurrence, all right? So definitely book a reading with me. This means that I am getting caught up with my readings and doing my job, all right? Three of Swords shows up, disappointment, heartbreak. Um, I think it was hard enough to tell the public that she has cancer. I think there's something emotionally like needing to re not just physically recuperating that from, but emotionally recuperating from that and the changes that comes with that as well. I feel like particularly with a physical appearance, I feel like in that video, she ha uh, posted on Instagram once again, where she revealed to us that she had cancer. I feel like that hair, the hair may have been a wig or something like that. Because I get like there's something about her hair. um, Or like her physical appearance. Will of Fortune shows up in particular around April or May. We're kind of in the middle of May, almost towards the end of May. But Will of Fortune could show up maybe anytime towards the next two to ten days or weeks. And then I get the Ten of Swords connected to thoughts, communication, the mind. Four of Wands connected to family, home, emotional energy. Four of Wands is a card of ex uh, un uh, unexpected or expected changes in a dynamic, a relationship dynamic. In this case, it could be a family dynamic as well. The Knight of Swords shows up. This will be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Leo person between the ages of most likely 25, mid-20s to late 40s or early 50s. I think Kate is a Capricorn. William, Prince William might be a cancer, maybe? And then I get a King of Wands showing up here, an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I'm wondering, does Kate have a male doctor? Or a male overseeing her health? I get a Queen of Swords, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or is this Prince Charles, maybe? Judgment card shows up connected to change, evolution, growth. I do feel like we will see her. There could be something once again about the month of October. The judgment card shows up around the month of October or November time frame. How interesting is that? I also get the numbers maybe 8 to 20. So this could be within any time within the next 8 to 20 weeks or months um, at the most. All right. So it could be 8 weeks, could be 8 months. You know, I'm not sure how the spirit is going to manifest this, but that's what I'm seeing. Um, or in, in the time frame, I mean, I'm not sure how spirit is going to manifest the time frame, but those are the ranges I'm seeing. Um, there is some concern over her long term health, like, there's a focus on just getting her healthy enough to make appearances or a few appearances, but long term health wise, it's like you know what it kind of reminds, reminds me of, and this might make me cry. A little bit it might make me it might make me a little bit emotional there's something about i don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie a walk to remember what's that movie what's that song called and i pray to be only yours i pray to be only yours, I know now that I'm your only hope. 
I love that movie. That movie was so... Mandy Moore did that, child. That was such a good movie. But in that movie, there's an energy of, you know, like the situation where the main character gets cancer. You know, the two main characters fall in love. One of them gets cancer and ends up passing. I'm not saying that's, like, going to happen to Kate because I don't see passing necessarily. But there's something about, like, one lover getting cancer one lover having to move on but the lover with cancer having to like fight fight to live like having to fight like like that's kind of what, what i get with kate and then i get this king of swords a libra gemini aquarius or, or pisces male i get the world card which could be a completion of a cycle coming full circle in some way shape or form could represent pregnancy possibly um also represents protection i do think there are people in the castle that are like surrounded her, surrounding her in the castle that want to see her win what's interesting is i remember one time and i don't know if you're still watching you probably you might be still watching a couple videos ago i had a comment from someone on one of my like kate videos or king charles videos where they were saying like basically like they love my videos you know they're you know they're so accurate to the point that like i wouldn't be i wouldn't believe how accurate they are and then they ended it with you never know who's watching or how close you know the per the people watching are to the subjects you're reading on and i think there was a connection i think they left that comment on like a kate video or it might have been a megan and prince harry video or something like that um it kind of like gives me that energy where like there's something where there are people who want kate to pull through and who love kate who are caring for her who are looking after her and i feel i feel like they're angels in in the form of humans let's see will kate pull through let's see that will kate pull through I want her to pull through. I really, really do. Will Kate pull through? Will Kate Middleton pull through, become healthy, and live again, live a full life again? Will she pull through energetically, life-wise? Queen of Swords shows up. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Aries, female in a position of power. Will she pull through? The Empress, who could be Kate. This could be a Capricorn, Libra, Aries, um, or Cancer female, or Taurus. Six of Swords shows up. Facing the Ace of Wands. She has to pull through for her family. At least that's her motivation. The Ten of Wands shows up connected to health. She is fighting for her health. It is a fight. But then I get the, her, the High Priestess connected to long-term health. I think she'll pull through, you all. I think she'll pull through, but the Five of Cups shows up. There's a, it's almost like bittersweet. It's like she'll pull through, but there could be something where it's like secretly there's a diagnosis of you only have this amount of time to to live allegedly. But there's been a lot of instances, as we know, where, you know, people get told you only have an amount, a certain amount of time to live and live well past that. Once again, I'm not saying that's the situation with Kate, but it's like there's something where it's like. She'll pull through, but she's not completely in the clear when we start seeing her there's still something where it's like there's still some something to attend to when it comes to making sure long term wise she's okay all right and it's stabilized it's not just like oh she's good great you know unplug the iv and get her back to work you know it's like they they don't want that to happen 
because it just wouldn't look good on them meaning the firm you know the um royal family the royal kingdom things of this nature right all right let's get a final card I don't know. I'm wondering if maybe we'll really see her around October. Or we'll have to see. We'll have to keep up. All right. We'll keep up. If we don't hear from her in a, in a little while, we'll come back maybe and see what's up. But it seems like energetically why she's still in recovery as we speak right now. What's the final card for Kate? Next, next reading, we might have to look back into Prince William because what's going on with him? And King Charles has been quiet too. He's been had his health issues as well. So it's time to kind of round back to the Royals and see what's going on with them, child. All right. Oh, the cards don't want to shuffle for some reason. Work with me. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Oh, I'll take that one. Uh -oh. Thank you, Spirit intuition and insight number 18 the connection to the number 18 could be important it says your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now so you can trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction remember i was saying she has angels around her in the form of humans it says follow your own insights over the advice of others i feel like she can't trust the royal family right now unfortunately and don't allow fear or worry to guide your way. It may be best to keep your secrets to yourself for now. So Kate's going to move in silence in order to make sure that things pull through the way they need to pull through for her. I almost get like someone is in her ear. It kind of reminds me of Cleopatra, how Cleopatra, towards the end of her life, was fighting Augustus. But she had those two devotees in the form of like maids or servants who were devoted to her towards the end. And I feel like in the same way that those were angels in the physical form for Cleopatra back in ancient Egypt, there's a similar energy in angels in the physical form coming through for Kate Middleton in today's day and age right now as we speak. All right. Kate Middleton, we love you. We send you so much prayers and healing in the name of God. Heal Kate Middleton. Heal her, her body. Heal her family, heal anything that is going on with Kate so that she can be there for her kids, so that she could be there for her children. In the name of the mother, the daughter, the father, the son, and the Holy Ghost, we ask that this, we ask that this energy be released with love and light and go back from whence it came. In the name of the mother, the daughter, the father, the son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen, and amen. Oh, ciao. All right, you guys. I felt that. Thank you all so much for listening and watching. I am going to go... I'm so excited to get me a veggie sandwich from Five Guys with a cheese on it. I've been loving veggie sandwiches lately. I'm not necessarily going vegetarian, but I have gone vegetarian at one point in my life. And I don't know. I'm not mad at the no meat every day. Like, I don't need meat every day kind of vibe. Ciao. A veggie sandwich or a veggie wrap will get you together, especially if it's a grilled veggie sandwich or wrap. All right. I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Love and like God bless. Remember, I'm available for personal readings right now as we speak. So contact me for a reading at 703-791-9162. I do have in, uh, WhatsApp for international clients or text me. Um, text me or visit my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. I'll see you in your own personal reading. I'll talk to you in your own personal reading. Or I'll see you soon either way. Love and like God bless. I love, love, love you all. Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. 
Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong This tarot card reading about to be long Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me. That's me. Mm-hmm.